Today I'm going to be talking to you about what Jesus smells like. So stay tuned. Today I'm on the subject of what Jesus smells like. You know, another way of saying it possibly is what love smells like as well. And you know, the scripture today, the reference scripture, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2 tells us this. It says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. Now, another translation says it this way, like a sweet perfume, speaking of Jesus, of course. You know, when you think of Jesus and go back to the cross, you know, my mind goes back, to, of course, to the first of all, to the movie. I'll share this movie of Mel Gibson. If you remember the movie he made on the Passion of Christ, let me tell you, the suffering that Jesus went through was terrible. And But, you know, I heard that um, they really toned it down because if he had put on the screen the fullness of the suffering that Jesus went through, I tell you, it would have been difficult for you to even watch it. You wouldn't want your children to see things like that because it was terrible. He was more marred than any man. Even as bad as it was, he really toned it down from what I heard. And, you know, if you think about that, think about if you were capable of seeing there what those that were there while Jesus suffered on the cross, if you were capable of seeing that, think about what that would have been like. It would not have been a rewarding experience. It wouldn't have been something to you that would have blessed you because the shame, the humiliation, the suffering that he went through, it would have been a terrible thing to see. It would have moved you on the side. Of, you would want to move away from it because it would have been like, you know, to see that would have been terrible. But you see, to our Heavenly Father, the Scripture says it was a sweet-smelling aroma. It was a perfume that if God opened your spiritual senses to smell, it would have been the most expensive perfume. You would have thought you were smelling something that obviously I've never smelled something this wonderful, this fine. You would have thought you've come across the most expensive perfume in the world because it was like that aroma, that perfume, the sweetness of it. Oh, it would be an experience you would never forget. In fact, if there was ever the manifestation of the presence of Christ within a particular place, a meeting maybe, or a place where you're at, or with a particular individual, if his presence was manifested for a particular purpose or reason, and God opened your spiritual senses to smell what he smells when it comes to Christ, you would have smelled, the, again, that same aroma, and immediately you would have known Jesus. Jesus is here. Jesus is in this place because you would you would remember you would never forget that aroma. Uh, you know, I'll use a negative experience to get a point across what I'm talking about today because you see I had an experience way back in the 80s where there I was talking to a particular person about Jesus and he was in a sexual sin of homosexuality and I smelt the spirit that was had a, a very very strong stronghold and it was a foul smell and I didn't know why God at that time gave me that experience to smell that smell but you see when I smelt it it was a common odor it was let me say it this way it was not a natural odor like a skunk it was a kind of an odor that I'd never smelled anything like that before. It was a foul stench. And since it, such a, uh, since it was a spiritual experience and not a natural experience, that odor didn't just go into my nostrils. It went through my nostrils. That's the best way I can explain it because it was an experience from God. It was a month later or so before I came to understand the purpose for that initial experience with God and why He gave me the experience. Because you see, a month later, I came across a person who was entering into that bondage, but he had a spirit-filled sister who was praying for me. He was supposed to go see this pastor, and he had no intention of going to see that pastor. So Jesus took me to him, but I smelt that smell as I was talking to him, and immediately, it wasn't as strong, but I smelt it, and it turned out he was getting pulled into this bondage, this sin, into a bondage, and the Lord used me in his life to reach out to him because he had no intention of going to see that pastor, so Jesus sent me to him. And so you see, the same way I had that experience spiritually to the negative, I'm telling you that when it comes to Jesus, it's a sweet-smelling aroma, that sacrifice. And in the same way, every single one of us has the Spirit of God on the inside of us. You know, in 2 Corinthians, in chapter 2, in fact, I'm going to skip down 
to, well, I'll share verse 14 says, Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God, verse 15, the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. I'm telling you, you're the fragrance of Christ. If God opened your spiritual senses, and just like there's five natural senses, there's five spiritual senses because God can relate to us through our senses. I mean, even as the scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is good. I tell you, when you experience Jesus, it's such a wonderful experience. It'll leave that kind of taste in your mouth. It's like, whoa, that was a good experience. I tell you, experiencing him is wonderful. And if God opened your spiritual senses to smell, I tell you, you would no immediately know that sweet aroma. You would think, oh, Jesus. He's here. Spiritually, you would immediately know it. And in the same way, you've got Christ on the inside of you, the hope of glory. You've got the presence of God dwelling in you, the presence of Christ. And in the same way, His Word going forth, I tell you, we minister the Word of God. It's Jesus. He's the Word as a sweet fragrance. And us. We are to God the fragrance of Christ. I'm telling you, there's this, if God opens people's spiritual senses, when we show up, something sweet, something wonderful is there because of Christ in us, the hope of glory. You've got something wonderful to give the world. You've got the presence of God dwelling on the inside of you. A sweet smelling aroma, a sacrifice unto him, unto our Heavenly Father that is wonderful, Jesus. For those that are being blessed by the content of this message, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. 